Matt Lombardi remembers his first year of coaching at Wyzetta High School. It coincided with Marion Barber's senior year in the fall of 2000. And he's a player Coach Lombo can never forget. He was as good a high school player as I've ever seen. And, and he was a quiet, soft-spoken, um, just a great family. And, and um, he was a great kid to be around. But I remember um, he was my first year coaching. And to get a kid like Marion was something special because I, I haven't seen one like it since. Barber was found dead inside his Frisco, Texas apartment on Wednesday. With no more details yet released. Current wise head of football coach Lambert Brown never coached Barber, but knows what a legacy he left behind at the school. A lot of what the teachers say as well, just how he treated his, his teammates, how he treated his classmates, um, just the person that he was walking the hallway, um, and then just the, the the humility that he played with, in the, with on the football field, um, but also just how kind of how he went about his business, where he is extremely talented, um, extremely hardworking, um, and, and the humility in which he did things. We at CCX first got to know Marion during his days at Wyzetta. Quiet, but always friendly and polite, Barbara on the field was a punishing running back and an all-state player his senior year, and then teamed with Lawrence Maroney to form perhaps the best backfield in the University of Minnesota football history. Still one of the Gophers' all-time leading rushers, Barbara then played seven years in the National Football League, six with the Dallas Cowboys. But by many accounts, life after the NFL wasn't always easy for Marion. With former Cowboys teammate Des Bryant lamenting just last year, his old friend was, quote, down and out bad. He did go through a lot of mental health um, struggles, and, and obviously we're learning more and more about that every day, not just with him, but just with everybody in, in, in how we almost got to get back to mental health is something we got to be aware of in that kids this age now are starting to realize that hopefully your mind becomes a strength. Matt Lombardi and Lambert Brown both hold the Barber family in great regard. Brothers Dom and Thomas and Dad Marion Jr. all played for the Gophers too and settled here in the northwest suburbs. The loss of life of Marion III is tragic for all. As a, as a wise at a football program, we're, we're, we're with heavy hearts. Like I said, he'll always be that 18-year-old kid that was humble and, and, and soft-spoken, and he's still he's still that Marion, and that's why it's such a tragic loss because um, he made a great impact in the world in his 38 years.